girl and me know that our love will last forever. My girl and me know that we two belong together. Sometimes it seems I shatter our dreams with some careless word of foolish lies. My girl, we've got each other Whatever life may send us Me and my girl, we've got each other However life may bend us Sure, we'll see tears fall Love never was all rainbows But there'll always be I'd quite lost track of the time. <laughs> You've been in long then? Yes, this is when I do my real work. Crisp, early morning air, quiet, no telephones, no interruptions. That's when the brain operates with ice-cold clarity, when a man can do his best work. You're holding your pen upside down. <laughs> I, I was just twiddling it, that's all. At least somebody's here. You'll notice Mr. Harrop has turned up. Oh, I wonder where he is. <sighs> Who knows? At least one of us is here, on the ball, ready to deal with another busy Tuesday. Wednesday. <laughs> all right, all right, Wednesday. I'm lazy to get the office diary and run through my appointments for the day. Of course, Mr Yates. And what have I got first this morning? Nothing. <laughs> There's nothing this morning. There's nothing there at all. It's a blank. Oh. Shame you came in early, isn't it? Well, I could have got all Mind this Mind you, there is something for this afternoon. Oh, it's underlined in red, too. Ah, there you are, something important. What is it? Pick up Muriel's Aspidistra. <laughs> oh, yes, that. An Aspidistra, really? Yes, it's her new decor scheme, the 40s. Everything in our home is 40s now. Furniture, colour schemes, plants, her waistline. <laughs> well, that's all for today, apart from the VAT inspector at 2.30. Anything else, Mr Yates? I said anything else. Ha, ha, ha. Pardon? That was a joke, wasn't it? What was? <laughs> that bit about the VAT inspector, you were kidding me, you were winding up, right? <laughs> Good old Mr Yates likes a bit of fun, a bit of a josh. <laughs> that was it, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Wasn't it? <laughs> oh my God, it wasn't the VAT inspector. Nobody told me about the VAT inspector. Why did nobody tell me about the VAT inspector? Mr Harp said don't mention it to Mr Yates because he gets in such a state. I do not get in such a state. <laughs> Suppose we better get the books out. Yes, the books. Books, where are they? Where are the books? I mean, where are the bloody books? Who keeps the books? Who keeps the red? You do. Yes, I keep, I keep the books. That's it. I keep the books because I'm in charge of the finance. That's why I keep the books. Where do I keep the books? In here. Don't worry, Mr. Yates. It's only the BAT, man. Only? You don't understand. They're like vampires. They suck your blood. They don't. Well, I wish they did. Blood we've got. <laughs> it's the money we're short of. <laughs> They've got incredible powers, these VAT men. They can break into your house in the dead of night, wake you up, search the place. Big, burly men with Alsatians. Big, burly Alsatians. <laughs> Mind you, if it came to a showdown between three burly men with Alsatians and Mueller when she's woken up at two o'clock in the morning, I know who I'd put my money on. <laughs> Still, I don't know what I'm worried about. I know these books like the back of my hand. Yes, I can handle this, all right. Still, I... I wonder where Simon is. There. How are you feeling? Oh, terrific. You're supposed to be an emergency. Oh, yes, you do that again, I will be. <laughs> <laughs> it was different last night when they brought you in. The little girl rang for the ambulance, I hear. She must have been scared. Oh, well, I didn't notice I was too busy being scared myself, but I've... No, I'm... I'm a bit hurt, but, you know, I'm fine now. I suppose they'll send you home. Yeah, it's a pity I was beginning to quite like it here. <laughs> hello, hello. Thank you, nurse. Now then, who am I, you ask yourself? Well... I'm Dr. Miles, and you must be the infected ear. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm appendicitis. <laughs> yeah. 
Yes, appendicitis. Must do something about my writing. <laughs> yes, appendicitis Harrop. Well, glad to meet you, Mr. Harrop. Oh, me too. Very glad to meet you indeed. Thank you. Oh, yes, you don't know how glad. Really, really glad. Fine, uh, why? They're going to let me do you all on my own. Now, before you say anything else, son, let me assure you, the answer is no. No what? No, I'm not in the slightest bit nervous. Oh, good. And I've been reading out all about it. Appendicitis? Yes. Don't want to make any mistakes, do we? No, we don't. <laughs> um, is it easy to find? Oh, yes, simple. Oh, good. Under A for appendix. No, no, I mean, I mean, I mean. Oh, yes, in you. Oh, yes. Well, what we do is, we slice you across the middle with a what's it, then we go through this stuff, you know, and find the larger of the two what you call -ems, and follow it down, and there it is, the thingy. Appendix. That's the chappy. Oh, I see, and then what do we do now? Do we sort of hook it out with a bent spoon? <laughs> No, actually, I think this is all rather academic, Doctor. I'm, I'm feeling fine now, you know, the, the pain's gone, so uh, you can let me go home. Oh, no. You don't mean Yes, I, I'm sorry, Doctor, I do, I do. Honestly, I feel, I feel fine. I think it was a slight alarm, false alarm, so please, can I go now, please? Damn, well, I suppose so. Um, look, you'd better let me have a quick prod at you. Well, just to be sure. Well, go ahead, Doctor, but it doesn't hurt anymore. I mean, I've prodded. Hmm, feels all right, mm. yes. Well, yes, you seem absolutely... <laughs> Oh, goody. Where is Simon? It's ever so complicated. Nonsense, Liz. It's, um... Yes, it's really, really quite simple. Well, what's the difference between input and output? Well, input is what you put in, and output is what you put out. Oh. <laughs> Simon's always getting it wrong. He keeps thinking input is what you put out, and output is what you put in. Oh. <laughs> I keep telling him, what you put out is your input, and what you put in is your output. <laughs> What he just said. What? What he just said is what you said Mr. Harrop says. Oh, God, did I? Oh, well, look, look, it's just because I'm panicking, that's all. I know what I'm doing. That's why I do the books. Yes, all. of course, Mr. Yates. Mr. Harrop took him home the other night. Uh-huh. What? Mr. Harrop, he took the books home the other night. He did what? What? Why? 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 Let's have a look. There's nothing. There's nothing different here. It's all... It's all exactly the same, is it? Huh? Huh? What is it? Please refer to me before VAT inspection, Simon. Oh, well, what's that mean? It means, for Pete's sake, Simon is running a fiddle. <laughs> Where is Simon? Well, I rang his home, no reply. Of course not. He knew the VAT man was coming by now. He's halfway to Rio. Oh, here's an interesting bit. Penalties may be imposed by the courts for offences connected with VAT. Oh. Such as making a false return, being knowingly concerned in fraudulent evasion of VAT, whether by oneself or by anyone else. Like Simon. And the penalty for the more serious offences may include imprisonment. Oh, heck. <laughs> where is Simon? Oh, Simon. Oh, it's you now. Uh, do you know where Simon is? Yes, I do. Uh, where is your busy, efficient son-in-law, then? Is he hopelessly ensnared in breakfast, unavoidably tied up with a barmaid, or is he delayed by the, the grim necessity to buy himself a new sports car? <laughs> where is he now? Where is he? He's in hospital. Oh. Um, can he still speak? <laughs> speak? Yes, of course. Oh, good. The VAT man's coming, and I've got to ask him oh, about... Oh, no. Simon was rushed in with appendicitis. They're operating later this afternoon. We can go and see him, but we will not bother him with office problems. But now I've got... No, Derek. Or you'll have me to deal with. Oh, poor Mr. Harrow. Well, at least we know he's in good hands. Were my hands cold? No, they were fine. They were fine. I tried to be gentle. Yes, you were. You were. <laughs> then you're all right. No, I'm deeply embarrassed. <laughs> but you said I could shave you. I know, nurse. I know. I tried to be gentle. Ah, oh, come in. Ah, oh, Sam. Hello, Dad. <laughs> well, you look better. What a nice room. You've been having a shave. Yes, the nurse does. <laughs> oh, how nice. Well, I must say, you do look, um... Oh, Dad, I was so worried. Oh, come on, love. I'm fine. I thought you coped marvellously last night. But I was so scared. I mean, there were these moans coming from your room, and I knew you hadn't brought a girl home. <laughs> 
and Isabel, they're outside. But I told them I wanted to see you first. Shall I let them in now? Just a sec. You can let them in now. <laughs> Come in now, Graham. Simon, dear boy. Just a flying visit. Are you all right? No, of course you're not. That's why you're in here. What a stupid question. I must be going back here. This is kind of house. I'm fine now. Hi, Isabel. Listen, thank you so much for coping with me last night. Oh, Mr. Harrop, does this mean... I mean, what do they mean to... Well, it mean... Uh, yes, it, mean, it, it, yes, it means an operation. Oh, you're very brave, Mr. Harrop. Ah, well. I shall be thinking of you all the time. Oh, thank you. I shall be praying for you. Even better. I went to confession last Sunday. God will be listening. And I shall stay here at the hospital all the time. You will do no such thing. You're going back to school. Oh, school? I've got economics. I hate economics. School? Blast. First decent excuse I've had for bunking off for ages. <laughs> well, now, in my absence, what terrible disasters have hit the office today? Oh, no. Has Derek told you already? Derek? Nothing's wrong, Simon. Take no notice. <laughs> <laughs> you know how he panics. Oh, no, I haven't talked to Derek. Oh. Good. No. What's happened at the office? Nothing's happened. I told you, nothing at all. We really must fly. Bye-bye. Come along, Isabel. Oh, no, Nell, Nell. Bye. Bye then, Dad. Mm. Hey, did you say a nurse just shaved you? What? Yes. Oh, she didn't make a very good job of it, did she? <laughs> Do, do, come in. Well, 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 um, let's see. Mr. Uh, Yates, may I say something which I trust will expedite matters? Of course, of course. Mr. Yates, I do not want a cup of coffee. Oh. <laughs> I, I shall work here. The chair is acceptable, the desk is acceptable. I do fully understand the problems of a small business such as this. I will not change my mind about a cup of coffee. I do not wish to comment on the budget or the taxation system or how Spurs got on last night. I do not require an ashtray. I do not require the toilet. I do not require a cup of coffee. I require one thing from you, Mr Yates, and one thing only. Money? Your books, Mr. Oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Sure you wouldn't like a cup of... No, 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 no you wouldn't. Uh, there is uh, something I should tell you. Well? If it's not trespassing too greatly on your very, very good nature. Well? Well, it's just that my partner, Simon Harrop, he's not here. He was rushed to hospital last night with appendicitis. Hospital? Uh, private room? Yes, uh, I think so. Oh, would you take Mr. Harrop a message from me, please? Of course, I'd be glad to. Tell him the VAT on hospital charges is non-deductible. <laughs> Am I going to see Simon? Remember, he mustn't be worried or upset, so not a word about the VAT man. Not even one word, like rattlesnake? <laughs> not one word. Oh, all right. Oh, Mr. Yates. What? Don't forget Muriel's aspidistra. Blast Muriel's Aspidistra. Blast Muriel's Aspidistra to hell. I never said that, all right? You never <laughs> said that. <laughs> Hello, Simon. Ah, oh, Derek. Derek, what did Nell mean when she said... Hang on a minute, that's not for me, is it? No, 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 this is for Muriel. It's uh, an Aspidistra. It's part of her 40s thing. It'll be food rationing next. <laughs> Put it on the locker, Derek, because I want to talk to you. Oh, yes, um, I suppose we must talk, must we? Mm -hmm. Problem is, what do we talk about? Trouble with visiting people in hospital, you never know what to say. Muriel was in once. Visiting time was an hour. For a whole hour, we sat face to face and talked to each other. God knows how the marriage survived. <laughs> yes, but we can talk to each other, Derek. I mean, after all, we've got things in common. Like the office. Oh, um, has Nell told you? No. Oh, good. 
Derek, what is wrong at the office? No, absolutely nothing's wrong at the office. Everything is fine. For God's sake, Derek, what is it? I told you, everything is fine. We've lost the Aston account. No. Uh, Nell had a row with Liz. No. Am I getting warmer? No. I mean, there's nothing wrong at the office. You're lying, Derek. You've got that look. What look? The look you have on when you ring up Muriel and say you're going to be late back from the office. Now, come on. There is something wrong, isn't there? There isn't. Derek, you are lying. Honestly, Muriel, I'm not. I'm Muriel, lying. Muriel, I know you're lying. No, look, please, I can't tell you. Otherwise, Nell would murder no, me. No, she won't, because I'm going to murder you first. Now, Derek, are Mr. you... Mr. Harrop, please? what are you doing out of bed? I'm just about to strangle my partner. Now, not listen. now, Mr. Harrop. Think of your ankle. Yes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Doctor, it's not my ankle, it's my appendix. Oh. Of course, appendix. Must remember. I hope you do, Doctor. Now, will you yeah, listen? We can talk to him in a moment. I think... I'm just going to give you your pre-med. Are you on? I think I'd just... Just to... freeze, Derek. I haven't finished with you. Now, you'll feel nicely relaxed and sleepy. I don't feel nicely relaxed and sleepy. <laughs> but he does. People are taken to hospital in an ambulance. Trust you to be brought back in one. I'm sorry, it's needles. I just can't stand the sight of needles. They remind me of my mother. What, was she a diabetic or something? No, she used to knit a lot. <laughs> but you're all right now, Mr Yates. Yes, I'm much better. Are you sure? Look, I'm not a baby. I feel fine. Because the VAT man would like a word with you. God, I feel terrible. <laughs> There's no need to be frightened of him, Derek. He's just a man doing his job. You simply have to face up to him. Meet him eyeball to eyeball. Tackle him man to man. You're a director. Why don't you tackle him man to man? <laughs> well, I would, but unfortunately I have an urgent appointment at the dry cleaners. <laughs> You finished? Uh, everything, everything all right? <coughs> would you like a cup of coffee? <laughs> I would like you to sit down, Mr Yates. Yes, of course. Um, sit down. <laughs> well, if, if that's it, I'd better be going. <laughs> Mr Yates, I would like you to look at that. Ah, uh, that. Uh, that is our telephone bill input. Or is it output? <laughs> The item just below that, Mr. Yates, that. Ah, oh, yes, that. That's our agency commission input, output, put, put. <laughs> the item just above that, Mr. Yates, that. Oh, that. Yes, Mr. Yates, that. Yes. Sorry, um... left my homework in here. Won't be a sec. Well, Mr. Yates, what have you got to say about that? Well, until this morning, I hadn't actually seen... You do keep these books, don't you? Oh, yes, I do, do. I'm the financial expert. <laughs> well, then... Oh, you've got to that, have you? No, not now, Sam. <laughs> We're busy. I bet you are. Dad was doing those books at home last week. He said there'd be ructions when you got to that. So? He said, ha-ha, wait till the VAT man sees that. <laughs> Sam, this is the VAT, man. Huh? Ah, oh, yes, I know. Hi, I'm Samantha. Uh, yes, I'd like you to be going now, Sam, please. <coughs> now then, Mr Yates, this item about which there will be ructions. <laughs> oh, yes, then these uh, teenagers have vivid imaginations. I make it a discrepancy of £568. Oh, God, do you? A serious discrepancy, you will agree, Mr Yates. Not a lot of laughs in it, no. <laughs> and one which we must rectify forthwith. Yeah, uh, checkbook. Uh. Wait a second. I don't make it £568. You've got it wrong. No, he hasn't, Sam. They never get anything wrong. <laughs> yes, he has, really. Really? Did you hear that? You've got it wrong. It's much more than that. <laughs> yes, it's <laughs> much more than that. I don't think it is. No, of course it isn't. Don't listen to her. She's a late developer. <laughs> this is VAT. You don't understand, Sam. I was doing it this morning at school, in economics. Economics? Whatever happened to cookery and needlework? <laughs> Young lady, perhaps you would like to explain your calculations. Uh, no, she wouldn't, Sam. It's time you were going along to play now, Sam. Please, go on, Sam. Uncle Derek, I think I should explain. You have to be honest about these things. That's what Dad always says. Your dad is a... F <laughs> Fine, fine chap. You've forgotten the percentage here. Yes. Which means a transfer to here. Oh, yes, of course. 
Which yeah. makes it a total of, um, £920. <laughs> I'm right, aren't I? No, she's wrong, she's wrong. She's right. I thought she might be. Oh, you know what we've forgotten to do? No, what have we forgotten to do? We've forgotten to throw ourselves out of the window. <laughs> <laughs> we've forgotten to backdate it. Backdate it? <laughs> yes, so we have. Well, let's have a look, then. Oh, what fun. Let's have a look. What fun, what fun. <laughs> now, then. This item applies for the last five years, so... Isn't this exciting, Uncle Derek? <laughs> You're all right, aren't you? You're not going to faint again. Oh, no, I'm not going to faint again. I might die, but I'm not going to faint again. <laughs> right. That would appear to be the final calculation. £4,600. <laughs> £4,600. Yes. They owe us £4,600. <laughs> the discrepancy was in our favour. Well, I never thought it was that much. Well done, Derek. Thanks. Well, a bit of the credit, well, some of the... Well, no, well heck, all the credit should go to Sam. Oh, don't tell her that. She'll want a reward. <laughs> a reward? Oh, yes, please. Can I bunk off economics next week? <laughs> Did they extract your appendix all right, Mr Harrop? Uh, yes, they put it in a little jam jar. Would you like to see it? Oh, no, no, thank you. It's in my locker here. You can take it home for me. Oh, no. No, you can put it in the pickle cupboard. <laughs> oh, she's gone. We're away, too. Come on, Liz. We've got heaps to do. What, back to the office? Good Lord, no. We're going shopping. Huh? New office curtains, new carpet, new furniture. You won't know the place when you get back. No, you can't. Of course we can, Simon. We've got £4,600 to spend. <laughs> Come on, Liz. <laughs> We'd better be going too, Uncle Derek. Mm -hmm. Bye, Dad. Bye. Ah, Mr Harrop, mm. we've come to have a look at your... Thingy. Um, yes. yes, exactly. <laughs> Come on, Sam. You're far too young to look at thingy. <laughs> Right, Mr. Harrop, shall we take a look? Yep. Oh, Uncle oh, Derek, you've broken it! Don't worry, old chap. We couldn't have happened in a better place. What? I'm a doctor. We'll look after you. No. I've never done a broken ankle before. <laughs> shall I cut his trousers off? No, don't cut my trousers off. Yes, cut them off. Quiet, old chap. We know what we're doing. No, 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 Why, do you think I should tell them? Tell them, them what? Well, Uncle Derek's no, ankle is perfectly all right. It's as for distro he's broken. <laughs> 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 Oh, oh, oh. 